Hey, how's it going, YouTube family? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Gaming. Gaming, and we are here with the Touch of Malice, such a godly gun against the king. And man, I can't wait to get into this. This gun destroys the king, man. I'll tell you guys everything that you need to know about this gun. Let's get into it. So first off, looking at this gun, it has two perks. Final round of the magazine regenerates and deals bonus damage at the cost of the wielder's life force. And three rapid kills will return a portion of the wielder's health. Guys, look at that, man. This gun on the last bullet will continue to take health from you, but it will never run out of ammo. It will never run out of ammo, and when your health gets low, it continues to shoot more accurately, plus it has a hammer forge and all those beautiful perks you see right there. Man, I'm telling you right now, when you're tethered in this raid, and you cannot take damage from anything, that is when this gun comes in handy. It works for the daughters, it works for Oryx, it works anywhere in Destiny where you're tethered and you can't take damage. It's so awesome, and I'll show you guys in this video. You guys, if you're here, I hope you're not here to learn how to do this raid. I've already made a tutorial on that, and I will put that uh, video link in the description below. So please be sure to check that out if you haven't. I've gotten a lot of great feedback. A lot of teams have been like, hey, because of your tutorial, I've showed everyone on my team before. I recommend that. Show them the tutorial, everyone on your team, before you try it. So everyone knows the mechanics, everyone knows their roles. Assign roles, and then, you know, go and get it done. But anyways... This gun, so there are some downfalls to this gun. I'm hearing that it's an absolute monster. This is obviously not a downfall, but I'm hearing it's a monster in PvP. I, I hear it's it's very good and people destroy with it. But the thing is, the clip is very small. It's at 11, right? Which is, I think, is a good thing. And I do think that this gun may get nerfed in the future, but maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. But I think that um, this gun really doesn't come in, into play in anything else. Um other than when you're tethered and you can't take damage. Uh, maybe PvP, because if you're smart with it, but I don't see it being a multi-kill gun. If you're playing with someone good and you're on your last bullet, it's not gonna work, you know? It's just gonna take your health away and that other person's gonna kill you. But anyways, this is this is pretty much, you're seeing it, this is me playing, even though this is uh, on a friend's account. This is me playing. Uh, you guys can take I usually keep my role pretty steady, but I can I interchange roles between other people if needed. And you guys can just see exactly how I tried to put the most DPS into Oryx. Um, just like you saw last time, we're here tethered again, and um, the gun will never stop hitting. It does it does quite a bit of damage to Oryx's chest, as you can see. Uh, the sniper rifle, of course, does a little bit more, but the rate of fire and not having to reload the touch of if you just use simply use the touch of malice the whole time while DPSing Oryx. Um, it's gonna destroy just gonna destroy like I'm telling you guys like just look at it it's so good this gun looks good um, it, it handles really well the perks on it are great I definitely think that with the legendary raid coming out there's gonna be a lot of things like um, obviously you know more damage uh, more DPS needed for each boss the higher level um, light enemies you're gonna need something that can that can handle that and i think this gun's gonna come into play honestly it's it does have like a an opposite effect like the red uh, or of the red death or then the red death i can't talk obviously but that red death it, you know it regens your health after a kill however the cool thing about the touch of malice is three rapid kills will return a portion of the wielder's health so that's not too bad either if you have like a bunch of hive coming at you or a bunch of taken coming at you this gun will melt them, and if you can get three rapid kills, you'll get a portion of your health back at the same time. Of course, with this gun, I will be continuing to do more um, reviews, uh, not only with this gun, but with other guns as well. Um, we have uh, some awesome, awesome guns coming into Destiny. And what I love is, I hope you guys got the black spindle or whatever it was, uh, pretty much the black hammer. Um, I don't even know if I said that name right, but that the Black Hammer is back in an exotic form, and it was light level 310. The thing is about that, I don't know how uh, you guys did it, but and let me know if you did get the Black Spindle. I also got the the 
what's it called the ship the legendary ship you get from the black spindle um quest or mission or whatever and it was freaking awesome that ship looks so nice it like glows yellow i'll show you guys in another video if you guys want like let me know um just put a like in this video or put it in the comments below just let me know that hey do you want if you guys want to see that ship it's pretty cool and uh if you guys want to see that the black spindle is at 310 you guys they're probably gonna nerf that I mean, rumor is they're gonna nerf that 310 because it wasn't supposed to drop at 310 for everyone um even though i think it was worth it it wasn't an easy task to do that uh mission and i want to know if you guys succeeded or not but i definitely think that with that gun and then uh, the touch of malice like these kind of guns are going to help tremendously in the legendary raid what my team is going to be ready for that we're going to be one of the first teams hopefully um to get that raid done obviously our, our goal is always going to be world's first and the best way to get world's first you guys is to get at least i would say as well get closest to light level two uh 310 as possible i guarantee you that that hard raid is going to be light level 310 recommended maybe even more who knows you know like this raid is definitely the hardest raid we faced. There's so many people on my friends list. There's so many people I know that still haven't gotten this raid done. And that's that's crazy. But it's awesome because I know a lot of people complained about how um, Crota was too easy. Um, how Vault of Glass got too easy. Even though I think Vault of Glass was just such an amazing, tremendous raid. Uh, it's, you know, all that kind of stuff. And the great thing is there's not really a cheese for this raid out yet. There are a couple things that my team teammates and I have done, and it's worked very well. Um, but no direct cheese like pushing off Crota or pushing off Atheon or all the crazy things that you know people were coming up with. Um, but hey, I'll let you guys know that when the cheese does come up and it's it's pretty amazing, I'm definitely gonna post it here on my channel. I have nothing against cheesing. I definitely think that you should go and beat it legit first. I 110% you need that experience. You need that satisfying feeling and feel proud that you just accomplished one of the hardest things that uh, Destiny has introduced to us till date. And get it done with your team, your friends, your family, like people that you love playing with. It's it's definitely when I first you guys saw my video. It's in the link is in the description of my tutorial video. I put my initial reaction of beating this piece of shit. I've never been so hyped ever in Destiny and it was it was so awesome it was it felt amazing it was, it was great and I really hope every single one of you guys can feel that that same feeling or, or even better because I know there's some people that still haven't beat it yet so man imagine when you guys finally beat it holy shit I'm just saying we on our live stream help people with everything we've helped over a thousand guardians to the lighthouse we've dual streamed with planet destiny um thank you first well i want to give a shout out i don't know if any big twitch streamers or youtubers watch my videos probably not I'm, I'm not really anyone important but i want to give them a shout out and say thank you they they've you know i've had a few people um host my live stream channel and that means a lot big shout out to planet destiny and rage um you know poshi all you guys that have that have helped out you guys are you guys are genuinely awesome it means so much that um, you guys would even take the time to help out small people like me. I know uh, I'm nowhere on YouTube or Twitch, but you know I, I try to do my part in the community. I try to help out wherever I can, and we've already helped out many people in the King's Fall raid. We've helped out. I want to say close to about 30 people get this raid done so far, um, and that's being conservative given the fact that I'm doing YouTube, I'm doing Twitch, I have a full-time job. Um, and I'm helping out wherever I can. We've gotten to a point where we invite someone random and we'll get the King's Fall, or sorry, Oryx done first try. We've actually been getting Golgoroth done first try too, and those those two are the hardest parts of the raid. Um, but I think that a big thing is, you know, I the guides I'm putting out, they're really helping you guys, and I really do appreciate your guys' support uh, more than anything. Honestly, guys, uh, no amount of money um, will really be like oh you know what you've done everything for me and help my stream grow really if you guys can share my videos with your friends and help other people along the way or help other people along the way I just seriously talk like Borat that was weird but if you can help other people along the way 
kind of pass it along, guys. Destiny is a great community, the best community I've ever been in. Been a competitive gamer since Halo, the first series began. Um, played COD, all the first-person shooters, Gears of War. I've never been in a community like Destiny before. And the more people going around helping people, the more people making the Destiny grind a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient for others, the better. And it helps me more than anything for you guys to just be able to share my live stream and share my YouTube channel with other people. And if you guys ever do watch my videos, feel free to drop a like. That like helps so much, guys. That like helps other people see the videos I make. And it's just a win-win for everybody. But hey, the more kindness, the more love we spread in this world, not just this game, because you know, that's, it's just going to make everything so much better and so much more pleasant. Spread the love, my friends. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed that wrinkly piece of shit floating away, getting wrecked. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please put a thumbs up. Come say hi in the live stream. Till next time, baby. Peace.